So for Valorant videos, so the first thing in OBS, we're gonna go to settings. And then, well, obviously if you stream, you just choose your service, the closest server to you. Yeah, I mean, that's about it. You only want to check, ignore streaming server setting recommendations if you plan on going over 6,000. I heard that you could stream with 8,000, but I'm really not sure how valid that is. But I just leave it off and leave it at 6,000. But honestly, 6,000 is not enough for 1080p 60, in my opinion. But you could try to check it and go with 8,000, but it's a little iffy. The output tab is really what matters here. So first thing you want to do is change the output mode to advanced. Then once that's advanced, we're going to head over to the streaming tab. So for streaming, right, your encoder settings. Uh, you want to change this to CBR or constant bit rate. I have it at 8,000, but really like 6,000 is the limit, like I said before. The profile, let's keep the profile on high. Now your target usage, bro. I think this changes based on the encoder that you have, right? But obviously, like the slower you go, the better the quality. I just keep it on slowest for best quality. Key keyframe interval, you want to leave that on zero or auto. Latency, you can choose low, or normal. Uh, I haven't really experimented with ultra low. But there is a trade off between latency and quality, obviously. So, like, the lower you go, like, you know, the quality is a little worse. E frames, I'll leave that at three. And for your encoder, for your video encoder, that really does depend on your system specs. So, I have a Intel i5 13600K, so I have the QuickSync. A264 encoder but if you also have nvidia graphics cards then you should see a hardware nvenc encoder and you probably want to do that if not you'll probably see a x264 encoder which is your cpu but honestly nowadays if you have the quicksync encoder you definitely want to use it if not definitely go with hardware nvenc or new nvenc or whatever the nvenc is called a recording for recording, as you can see, I, I'm using my NVIDIA NVENC encoder. And that just encodes off my graphics card. And for my file format, I have MP4. It doesn't really matter too much. Uh, but yeah, but now you want to scroll down and go to your encoder settings. This is really what matters. So in like the later versions of OBS, there's something called CQP, rate control. So basically like from what i read about it it kind of like is improved upon tbr and it's a little bit more like stable but use like a constant cq value i use 16 i research that 16 is kind of like the sweet spot for quality recording i think if you go past 16 like the gains are really marginal so it's not really worth too much for preset i use slower Tuning, high quality, multi pass mode, I just kept it too passive. Profile, high, GPU zero, and then, you know, max B frames sets it to. Yeah, I mean, that's about it. Now, replay buffer, if you do want to clip from OBS, you just enable your replay buffer right here. But I use NVIDIA uh, Shadow Play. Sometimes clipping from OBS is better. I might honestly change this eventually, but that's really up to you. And the last main tab you want to uh, check out is video. For your base canvas resolution is just whatever your resolution of your monitor is. Mine's 1080p. So I leave it at that. Your output resolution, I'd still leave it at 1080. But if you're streaming and you want to stream to like 900p, then you just change this to 1600 x 900 or 1280x720 if you want to go to 720 or whatever it is. Yeah, downscale filter. So downscale filter only applies if you change your output scaled resolution. So since mine like it's the same as my base, it's a one-to-one -one mad, so there's no downscaling. If you do downscale, then you want to use the Lengzos filter because it gives the best quality. And then now here is like a secret setting that is Loki super good for like smooth streaming and recording nowadays so normally like by default this drop down right here would be common fps value 
and the max that this drop down could go is 60 right but if you change this drop down here to integer fps value then you could type in 120 and 120 fps recording looks so smooth so now i'm gonna hop in a game of deathmatch and show you guys how 120 fps recording really looks